Hey, guys, it's time for a new trip to the thrift. Um, I have a break in between my schooling right now. I have a class at 1.30, and they don't even open until 11.25, which means, or 11.45 is, I think, when Pam's going to be there. So this is going to be kind of close, but we're going to do it. So let's hit the thrifts. Anyways, it's time to go outside. Yeah. Beer Jimmy. Yeah. Let's see, huh? Beer Jimmy. Off top, off top, off top. Yeah. I really love my niggas, that's just off top. Yeah, like squad. I'm with some foreign bitches and they all hot. My beamer from the 90s, it's a soft top. My God. All the weed that hurt my lungs, I need a <laughs> car drop. You say you getting money, I'm like, boy, stop. Here, Jimmy. Fortune 500, I need more stock. My God. I pulled up in a horse, it's a Porsche drop. We are at my favorite thrift store. This image is actually inverted, but in Final Cut, I'm going to try to flip it. So that way it actually reads frenzy, but I'm on the inside. I'm on the inside. So we are going to get into it and find some heaters. Ooh, first find of the day. We have a Kenzo t-shirt. I need to really make sure that there's no like stains or anything. Like there's like minor, minor things that look like it could be actually washed off. But if you know about Kenzo, like this brand is like super expensive and it's in really good condition for a white tee. But yeah, that is crazy to find Kenzo in the thrift. Like, look at guys, like Kenzo is like, their stuff sells for so much. Like their jackets are like a thousand dollars. This little sweater is like $300, like ridiculous. Like that's crazy. And you have this metallic majestic tiger on the front. What? Super clean. North Face, you know I love finding North Face in the thrifts. Look at this Pendleton vest, though. This thing is ridiculous. With the embellishments on the buttons. Look at that. Ooh, we got the floral bucket hat. Bucket hat brick squad. Ooh, we got some Nike fly knits up here. These are definitely a little bit dirty, but the actual fly knit material is in good condition. No tears or anything like that. Ooh, we got the Death Wish Henley, though. This thing is super wet. You got the black sleeves, Death Wish, little buttons right there. I've actually been really into Henleys lately. Ooh, we got these little twinkle toe vans right here. You got the little sparkles right there, looking like a Louis V collabo. And then you got the black authentics. All Always a must have. I actually have so many black authentics, it's ridiculous. We got some Stussy Outdoor. This is a little bit faded because it does seem like a really old piece based off this tag looking like a piece of parchment paper. But the screen on the back is actually in really good condition. It's not like super cracked. Like you can just tell it's kind of an older piece. Polo Glory. All right, we got the Olive Green Attack on Titans Essential Tee. It's a guild tee, so I'll probably sell this on the site for like four bucks. You got the big Attack on Titans logo on the back. And then we got this Casual Industries little uh, strip club slash sexual promotion t-shirt right here it says casual and then you have a girl so i'm guessing it's gonna be like casual sex andrew mcmahon i wonder if it's any relationship to vince this is a super dope ezekiel tee i just really like the graphic with this damn i was so hyped for a second because i saw commonwealth and i was like oh shit commonwealth like this is kind of like a dressier thing for commonwealth that's like one of my favorite streetwear stores but anyways and it said commonwealth proper so i googled it thinking like maybe it's a part of like Commonwealth. And the outcome is that it's not. These are expensive ass tees though. They're like t-shirts or their shirts, sorry, not t-shirts. Their shirts go for like 250 bucks. Oh my God, are you joking me? I turn this and then I see this. Alexander Wang, what the f Damn. This thing is like a really thin long sleeve. Probably, uh, it says size medium, but it looks more like a size small to me. Damn, that's so dope to find this in the thrift store. Damn, the Always Fresh Apparel Adidas collab jersey. This brand brings back some really fondue memories because this is a city in California. I think it's the county too. I think it's Sonoma City in Sonoma County. But anyways, and when I was visiting my friend in LA, on the way back, I stopped in Sonoma. Well, I stopped at Yosemite, and then after Yosemite, I stopped in Sonoma, and I met up with this girl who had a boyfriend at the time, and all we did was kiss at that point. So anyways, we didn't do anything else, and then a little bit before I moved back to Washington, I drove back to Sonoma, 
and kicked it with her and she was at work and we went to the back and she sucked me and they're not together anymore i actually have a really funny story about that maybe i'll do that during like a story time because there's a lot more to that story that i don't want to tell you because it's just way too long but if you guys want to hear some stories of my exploits then uh, you can let me know by hitting that thumbs up below and let me know in the comments Ooh, damn this is dope damn you guys just got a freaking natural reaction because i just found 10 deep in the thrift you guys know i love finding 10 deep in the thrifts by the way 10 deep is selling in pack sun now so it's only a matter of time before that brand gets ruined unless they do their releases right and they make it somewhat limited if they don't make it somewhat limited then it's just gonna be like every other brand that sells in stores I'm not saying they don't make dope stuff but it just gets like way oversaturated and then i don't know the stuff just starts to become really really plain because they start making stuff that's going to appeal Sorry, I'm really having a hard time focusing because in the middle of talking, I just saw an A-Life tee, A-Life long sleeve. What is up? Woohoo, baby! Damn, I'm finding heat. Anyways, it just makes it so the brand focuses more on producing stuff that the masses will like instead of creating dope stuff. So then that's why brands often get ruined when they sell in retail stores, in my opinion. Anyways, damn, that was like a crazy long, like, one take Timmy freaking recording, but... In that, I gave you guys a great sexual story, and I found A-Life and 10 Deep in the same little thing. Oh my goodness, I'm so hyped right now. Ooh, we got some red bottoms, though. We got some red bottoms. Look at that, guys. Louboutin in the thrift. However, I will say, I actually don't think these are real. You can see that they are somewhat similar. They got that little line across the back. However, the thing that really tells me that these aren't real is the fact that these spikes are a little bit too spiky, and... I've seen reviews and they're not supposed to be that spiky. They are in European sizes, but damn, that would be dope if these were real. Well, not really, because I'm probably going to pass on them. So low-key, I'd be kind of salty if they were real. But the actual ones also say Louboutin in that little circle right there as well. Ooh, we got the polo with the watermelon seeds all throughout the entire garment, though. We got the Vancouver Canucks. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. A little t-shirt. I'm going to pass on this. Oh. God, be sure I'm gonna pass. All right guys, welcome to the thrift recap portion of this video, which is basically where I just show you guys all the thrifted heat that I found. However, before I get into it, of course, if you want to purchase any of these items, make sure you go check out the website, which is hfv.bigcartel.com. They'll be somewhere on the screen and in the description below. And while you are doing that, make sure you go follow the official HFV Instagram, which is HFV official. That will also be somewhere on the screen and in the description below, along with a link to the website. So make sure you go check out the website and follow that Instagram. It's crucial that if you want to buy anything from HFV that you follow the Instagram because a lot of the stuff sells out pretty quickly and whenever we post stuff to the site, we usually try to post like three items to the Instagram account. So if you want to stay updated when we update the site, because a lot of people ask that, just make sure you follow the official Instagram and then turn on notifications and go like all those pictures, okay? Damn. And while you're following that Instagram, make sure you go follow my personal Instagram account, which is at the Star Life. That will also be somewhere on the screen and in the description below, along with the link to all of my other social networks. But it's most important that you go follow me on Instagram because my Instagram feed is insanely dope. All right, so for the first piece, we have this Alexander Wang little sweater or long sleeve little knit tee right here. I don't know. But you have the Alexander Wang tag right there. And the tag looks pretty official, but I don't think it's real. Matter of fact, I, I'm 98% sure that's not real because I think it says made in Vietnam, but it's kind of hard to read. Regardless, really, really dope find. However, I'm not going to sell this because like I said, I don't think it's real. And sometimes if I'm not sure, I'll still post it. But there's also a small little like hole on the seam and it's almost impossible to notice. I honestly didn't notice it for a while, but it's just like a small, tiny hole. We also have some 10 deep, which I love. This piece is a little bit faded and this actually isn't from this thrift. However, I'm about to show off another piece of 10 deep that is from this thrift, so I just figured I'd include them both. Paul actually found this and passed it to me. Super dope piece. It is a little faded, like I said. I would give it like a seven out of 10 quality, but it's gonna be up there for like, I don't know, four bucks plus shipping. So it'll be like, maybe like, ten dollars maximum not a bad deal and honestly this tee still looks hella dope faded because it kind of has like a band tee vibe you know next up for the 10 deep we have a 10 deep flannel always crucial i love their flannels because their buttons have like the d-e-e-p funny fact i actually had this crazy situation with this like creepy woman who was like i don't know i was wearing 10 deep and it said d-x-x-p and she like came behind me and she was like d-x-x-p d is a dick x-x p is it poop and she was like super fucking cracked out on meth or heroin, probably heroin. And um, yeah, basically it was really creepy. And I don't know, maybe I'll tell that whole story another time, but I 
thought I was gonna die. Like I literally thought she was possessed and I thought she was gonna kill me. If you guys wanna hear that story, let me know in the comments, hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. Maybe I'll tell it in like a Q and A or something, I don't know. Next up we got this casual industries tee right here. You got the casual and then you have this sexy little lady on the breasts right there and it's all in pink and it says casual, we stay up. This is actually a Washington streetwear brand that sells in like Zoomies and stuff like that. Next up we have this Stussy outdoor tee. So you have this little man playing a saxophone or something right there and then you have him on the back as well it says Stussy on the front and back and then you have the Stussy outdoor tag right there Ooh, we got some attack on titans gear right here this is actually new with tags this isn't official attack on titans gear i don't think uh, but yeah you have the tag right here and it's all in like japanese or chinese I, I think that's chinese i don't know but yeah you have this tag right here you have the attack on titans logo right there you have it on the sleeve and then you also have it on the back this is marked at a double xl but it fits more like a small to a medium i i normally wear a medium hoodie and i can fit this so i i don't know i'm probably actually no i would definitely say medium sorry definitely a medium i forgot the sleeves are a definite medium do not get that if you're size small unless you don't mind your sleeves being a little bit baggy all right next up we have this kenzo tee which is super crazy to find in the thrifts i'm not a big fan of this tee but it's crazy to find kenzo in the thrifts like what that's crazy as you can see you have this little tiger right here it's all in this like silver like i don't know graphic and it's all embossed and then it says paris right there as well super dope definitely a crazy find in the thrifts like that is crazy to find kenzo in the thrifts we have the super sick ezekiel rose tea right there it says ez14 you have these roses right here this is probably one of like my favorite ezekiel teas that i have seen speaking of roses we also have this a life rose tea right here which you guys might have seen i love a life super dope to find a life in the thrifts you got these double roses and then you have these roses going down the sleeve as well next up we have this death wish henley which was also super dope to find this piece is super wet you got death wish across the front right there you got the henley with the black sleeves super clean there's like one small little mark on this thing you can see like right here actually wait does that come out is that even a i don't know if it's a mark or if it's something else but i'm pretty sure it'll come out i don't know if you can even see it it's like super super tiny but anyways next up we have another attack on titans piece right here this is a gilded tee with some attack on titans printed on it you got it in that freaking like olive green colorway you have the attack on titans little logo right there another little logo on the back super clean by the way attack on titans is a really good anime if you guys haven't watched it you should change that it's i don't know if you guys watch anime i'm sure you have watched it because it's a pretty hyped anime a lot of people know about attack on titans but it's super dope also go check out Deadman wonderland and tenchi muyo and and Gundam Wing, which is obviously a classic. Princess Mononoke is another good one. I don't know, there's a bunch of good animes. Just go watch some cool anime, okay guys? All right, anyways, then we have this FC Bayern Munchen little, I don't know, Adidas tee. And uh, I don't really know much about soccer, so I had to hit a paw and ask him his professional opinion. And he said that's a definite cop. So yeah, bam, we got this right here. Definitely a dope piece. And then we have, last but not least, a North Face, which is a super clean little orange North Face right here. You got this orange North Face fleece. You have the North Face badge on the front, on the left breastuses, and then you also have it on the uh, what shoulder blade would this be? Right shoulder blade region. All right, that is it for this video. Of course, if you guys like this trip to the thrift, make sure you hit that thumbs up down below, that like button that looks like this. If you are not subscribed, change that. There should be a little red button that says subscribe in it. So you click that little button and you are subscribed to all my future content. And you can turn on notifications and join the gang, 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 gang. Okay, anyways, like I said earlier, make sure you go follow me on Instagram, which is at the Star Life. That'll be somewhere on the screen and in the description below. And if you want to purchase any of these items, make sure you check out hfv.bigcartel.com and follow the official Instagram, which is HFV official. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. And as always, keep living the star life.